Hey you guys and welcome to another Monday book haul where there is a book haul every Monday while supplies last which will probably not be indefinitely because I have been very good and not buying books. I've been pretty much sticking to my pre-orders. Like I have four pre-orders this month and that's all I'm hoping to get except for one thing. Yeah I know there's always an except. There's going to be a book sale uh, on bookcloseouts.com for like they're going to give you 25% of your order off so yeah because they're changing their name from bookcloseouts.com to bookoutlet.com so that's going to be a thing and that's going to be the only thing that I'm going to allow myself to be buying really so can't pass up a sale apparently but besides that I want to really stick to my pre-orders for the rest of this year uh, let's see if I can do that but um, I'm here to give you guys a book haul and in this one these are gonna be my pre-orders since May I believe because I have one book from May I think I didn't uh, book haul yet so yeah let's get started and also I'm going to be doing a week of videos that's what I almost forgot to say so I'm gonna be doing a video every day uh, yeah I didn't want to do beta or anything that's like 30 days but I'm gonna do a week of them so this is what this week is going to bring and I will leave a schedule down below but if uh, you guys want to give me a suggestion for something then uh, I'll switch my schedule around if you guys have a video you want me to do so just let me know uh, and so let's get started the first one is some quiet place by Kelsey Sutton and this follows this girl Elizabeth who doesn't feel emotions but she can actually see them hanging around like fear and longing and fury and resentment uh, and she and the emotion fear are kind of friends I guess but they want to know the mystery of behind of what's of why she is the way she is so that it was good I gave it a four out of five and I really enjoyed it I'm just I was hoping for a little bit more and this is one I wouldn't mind to have a sequel but so but uh, so far I believe it's just a standalone uh, next one is from June and the first one it that I got is Dance of the Red Death and this is how this looks and it looks so gorgeous uh, I gave this book a three out of five I believe yes I already read this one I really like the first one Mask of the Red Death uh, I was kind of disappointed in the sequel but it was pretty uh, the next book that I got is Ashes on the Ways by Mary Lindsay and that is how this one looks uh, also awesome and this one is also based off an Edgar Allan Poe thing because Mask of the Red Death was based off one of his short stories but this is based off one of his poems called Annabelle Lee um, Annabelle Lee I love that poem and it follows this guy Liam McGregor who is cursed and haunted by the wells of fanaticals and and he is labeled a demon by the villagers and what island they live on and no one wants anything to do with him but then this girl and comes to the island and her and Liam kind of you know get together but then the people who inhib inhibit the island and like the sea around them and mystical forces is having a problem with that so uh, yeah I think stuff happens and I'm really excited to see what happens <laughs> the last book that I got in was the girl who was supposed to die by April Henry and this is how it looks and this one follows a girl who wakes up and she has no memory of where she is but she's all tied up and stuff and from what little she can overhear of the two men in the next room is that she has been kidnapped and they're about ready to kill her so she has to kind of I guess escape and stuff and oh, it's gonna be so good or scary good I believe can't wait for that uh, the next books I got were came in from July and I'm only missing one because my friend has it and she hasn't finished with it yet <laughs> um, but the first one that I got was anonymously anon anomaly let's not even let's just stop pronouncing it Keisha uh, it is by Kristen McGee and this one follows this girl Thaya who has 15 minutes and 30 and 23 seconds left to live um, in the future uh, the world has been decimated by a nuclear war and the human race has kind of been saved by these scientists called the 10 who have genetically created human beings to feel no emotions because they believe that would help um, and not endangering the human race and she was born with feelings and emotions and stuff and she's been able to hide it except for like one incident and they find out and they order her death 
Um, but then things start happening. There might be some mysterious thing happening around with her anomaly. I think I pronounced it right that time. <laughs> so this one sounds good and I'm looking forward to it. The next one that I got is Half Lies by Sarah Grant. And this one follows Isa, whose parents give her $10,000 in cash and a map to a bunker because there is an imminent viral attack and that's the only way she's going to survive. And so she and a handful of teenagers are living in this bunker when she discovers something that is a complete secret and she wonders, is it really safe after all? But then generations in the future, the world has changed. People uh, worship something very close to where that bunker was. And this guy, ben Bennett, um also discovers the secret that could destroy civilization and there's like and he has a surprising connection to isis so i guess they're going to go back and forth between years between the future and the past and i'm looking forward to that the next book that i have to show you is what i was very excited for and it is a beast and beauty and it is a beauty and a beast retelling and it is by stacy j and it follows this girl princess aria who was born to be a human sacrifice because they believe that because the people in this world believe i guess that a sacrifice needs to be made every year or well, every couple of years because she was born to be the sacrifice uh so that they can have peace and prosperity or whatever and in the outside of their city there is the second class citizen called the monsters who possess monstrous traits and of course they don't get along with the people inside and one of these monsters is like caught trying to steal a rose or something and i and she begins to care for him and stuff like that so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes really looking forward to it <laughs> the next two books um i got in august and the first one is slayers look at that cover it is awesome people uh and it is by cj hill and it follows this girl who is a socialite and a senator's daughter and she ends up going to this camp for a dra called dragon camp for the summer and she's really fascinated with dragons and stuff um but it's no ordinary camp these kids are descended from the original knights and with new dragon eggs about to hatch uh they're gonna need new slayers uh i love this cover uh, but apparently there was a hardback copy of this, but I didn't really like the cover. But So since I already got this, I'm not going to change it. And there's a sequel that I think is already out, and it continues with this theme of the cover. So hmm. um, then the last book I got, all of you guys probably know by now if you've seen my Friday Reads, and it is Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. And this follows this boy, um, Leonard Peacock, whose birthday is today, but he has plans to kill himself. Well, to kill his best friend and then himself. But before he does, he wants to go visit four of his friends and give them gifts and stuff like that. And it's really good so far. I'm currently on page 124. I haven't read since that Friday Reads one. But I'm really looking forward to finishing this one very, very soon. And yeah, those are all the books that I have to show to you guys. And you guys, let me know which books you want to read or that you have read already which ones are good bad or which ones you have put on your to buy list and tell me which books in the future have you pre-ordered because i would love to know because i have some pre-orders made and i'm trying not to pre-order anymore so i will talk to you guys later and i will see you guys every day this week so see ya tomorrow